So for today, we're going to be looking at the Star Eater scales. I got unfortunately asked to do this by three separate people. It's technically cheating considering they're from my clan and they just wanted to bug me, but I I did say comment and they did. So here I, here I am making fashion for one of the worst looking exotics in the game, uh, which is funny considering they're actually like one of the best exotics in the game. It's just they look like doo-doo butter. So yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. You guys who commented, I definitely deserve that shit. So other than that, let's just let's just get into this video. So to start off, the Star Eater scales is very unique in the sense that it has a very distinct look. Uh, I don't have I don't see a lot of armor pieces that have this look, which is very fishy, very mystical almost. I think so. Uh, the only unfortunate part of this whole set is the fact that the blue orbs on the calves do not change color which i i find annoying because not only is this exotic very very specific on, on the look of it but it's also there's also pieces that just don't change color and in my head i'm just like we didn't need this as well like this exotic is already hard to work around we didn't need unshaderable pieces but here we are uh let me get this out of the way first i do not have the ornament for it and i'm def i'm definitely hate hating myself for it because the boot the ornament actually makes it even better like it takes out the blue orb it takes out a lot of the pieces that are very annoying to work with specifically like the the groin area and the inner thighs that hold like D design i find annoying because that's where my head goes to it doesn't have that so it the if you have the ornament do it it's way better but if you don't like i do then these two sets are going to be worth it for you at least hopefully uh i did make two sets to apologize that i don't have the ornament once i do have the ornament i actually might make a separate video for it but this is where we're at right now so yeah, as for our shaders, again, it actually shaders pretty well. It's just unfortunate that the blue does not change colors. So the actually now that I'm seeing this for myself, the blue on the knees and the below the knee also doesn't change color. So cool, I guess. Again, I'm I'm not a big fan of this exotic, which is why I'm finding this out as well. But yeah, I I hate these boots. I hate these boots so much. As for the example set, so this is my example set. I will show you guys my least favorite to my favorite at the end because that's how YouTube works. Uh, the first one is this like mystical. I, I tried so hard to like really lean into that mystical look. Uh, for the helmet, we're using the Empyrean Cartographer Mask just because that was the best helmet I found for this. The arms we're using the praetorian ornament set for it not the actual arms but the praetorian ornament for it just because i feel like it's a little bit better and the chest piece is the ne the nemean uh cuirass it's one of my favorite pieces and then for the cloak we're using Ephrodite's iron cloak one of my favorite cloaks in the game so let's talk about some of the pieces uh specifically the praetorian ornament i think a lot of people are going to be like why are you using this uh the main reason i'm using this one and the cloak and yeah that's it actually the main pe the main reasons why i'm using those two is because there's spiky bits uh as you guys can see in the shoulders there's a spiky bit on it and the reason i'm using that is so it can uh complement the spiky bits that are on the boots because there are spiky bits uh for the cloak there's also like this like gill lo looking thing at the sides of the the head that's why i use that one as well and then the namian cuirass i'm using it for the ornamental look of it because again the the boots really for me personally look really well with pieces that are very ornamental because the whole leg is ornamental the helmet is the only piece where I'm like not the biggest fan of, but again, that was the best one I had. I looked at and I do like the glow. If I were to change anything, I would try to find, uh, I would try to find a shader that goes well with the helmet. So that way I can get a blue glow, glow to it. Uh, but 
that also contradicts the arms because the arms do not share the same color. They're actually different colors, which is why I'm using the Dreaming Spectrum shader so I can work around that. But I would probably switch to a non-shaderable helmet or a, a helmet that already has blue on it. So this is like my least favorite, not saying it's bad. I actually still like it a lot. It's just, I'm going to be real with you guys. There's a lot of pieces that contradict, contradict each other. Like again, if, if, if I already change anything in this set, I would just change the helmet to something that doesn't have a glow. So that way I don't have to worry about that or just have a helmet that already has blue on it. So that way I can match with the unshaderable pieces at the bottom. But other than that, yeah, I really like this set. I really like how every piece I thought about a lot. And surprisingly, I, I think the arms look really good with this whole set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, the next armor set that I made for this is my favorite. And I do use a last wish piece. So just be aware of that. But it is my Corsair inspired set, I guess you could say. I guess for me, I see more Petra in it than anything else, but let's get into it. The helmet, we're using the Pathfinder's helmet just because this was part of the Corsair inspired armor we got in Season of the Lost. For the arms, we are using the Neoteric Kiat Grasp because if you guys don't know, the Neo Neoteric Kiat armor set is based off of Petra. I will show you a picture right now to show you the pieces, but yeah. For those who didn't know uh we are using the vest of the great hunt for the chest piece just because in the hip you can actually see they actually connect really well uh right there for the cloak we're using the meridian constellation cloak because again i'm going for a corsair almost petrovenge look for this set and for these shaders we're actually using vanguard steel for pretty much all of these except the arms we're using vanguard burnished steel for that one because I wanted to go for a really blue look and I think I achieved that <laughs> personally. It looks really good in my opinion. It's one of the better sets that I've made for this chest piece because or for the boots because best believe I have done a lot of looks for this and most of them I just did not like just because some just look good and some didn't. Um, again, these boots are really they're a challenge to, sh to make look good in my opinion. So. I think overall this looks really good. It's one of my favorite looks for the Star Eater scales. Uh, it's just damn, dude. Like if I had the ornament, I I would have made so much better sets with it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. Again, I apologize that I didn't go full in or that I didn't have certain pieces. I am really annoyed with myself. But let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys later.